program continues. The first biomedical engineering workshop has been launched in Ndola. The workshop, located at the Northern Technical College, Nortec, will train men and women who will maintain hospital equipment. And Health Deputy Minister Dr. Chitalo Chulufia says government will continue to invest in biomedical equipment as they play a major role in providing quality health services. Shereen Masopelo now reports. <laughs> This marks the opening of the Biomedical Engineering Technology Skills Workshop. The project was jointly undertaken by the Northern Technical College and the Tropical Health and Education Trust of the United Kingdom. THET has been operating in Zambia as a country program since 2009. Through funding from DFID and the Bait Trust, the workshop has come to fruition. It is the first of its kind in Zambia and will see graduates attain three-year training in managing hospital equipment. In the past, most equipment was left unused whenever a fault occurred, and instead of repairing, government would spend more money buying equipment to replace the faulty ones. This is because there is no trained manpower to maintain hospital equipment. But this will soon be a thing of the past. The Biomedical Engineering Workshop, located at the Northern Technical College, is training 62 students, of which 12 are females, who are expected to graduate in 2017. Northern Technical College Principal Victor Mlenga noted that the college has significantly contributed to the economy of Zambia. As a country, we have not been training people to um, repair, maintain and manage our hospital equipment. Um, and what that has meant in the past is that sometimes uh, hospital equipment has been put aside because of minor faults and we've gone to buy big and new equipment because we do not have the expertise to, um, to repair uh, the um, the equipment which has broken down, but we can have people who are specifically trained to repair, uh, maintain and manage um, our hospital equipment. Uh, as a college, we think that this is going to significantly help the country um, in the sense that uh, we will uh, serve a lot of money. Tropical Health Education Trust third program officer Edward Tonkin noted that a milestone had been reached in Zambia as the quality of health care will improve when equipment is well maintained. We're very proud to be involved in this course in particular. Not only is it the first pre-service training course in biomedical engineering in the country, but also within the immediate region. In this sense, it's a huge innovation that will have a huge impact on the health service in this country. It's a unique, innovative and sensible answer to the issues surrounding medical equipment in Zambia. And the issues are not insignificant. Because it is not simply purchasing more equipment that will lead to improvements in health service in this country, it's about properly managing that which is already here. Investment in human resources, in quality, locally trained maintenance staff, is the best thing we can do to ensure the continuity and improvement of health services reliant on equipment in Zambia. Bait Trust representative Bill Osborne said ordinarily his organization does not fund government programs but because biomedical engineering will benefit both government and mission hospitals, they decided to be part of the program. There are so many mission hospitals around the country and health centers that have equipment and there is absolutely nobody to really maintain them. And I'm sure that the government is not going to grab all the, um, all the graduates um, and let them only work in government hospitals. I'm sure this will be a great benefit countrywide. And there is so much equipment. I, me and my wife have been around so many mission hospitals, rural health centers that have equipment but the moment it breaks down, that's it, basically, unless they can find somebody somewhere um, who's going to come in and, and fix it. So I think this is an absolutely splendid um, course that is going to be a, 
as I say, a huge benefit to Zambia. And we as the Bike Trust, and I speak on behalf of the trustees, um, are very happy that this is now being officially opened. Muzano Simumba is a director in the Ministry of Education, Science and Vocational Training and Early Education. He says the workshop will not only benefit Zambia, but some neighboring countries. Allow me to categorically state that the government and the entire sub-region, or Zambia as a, as a country and the sub-region, of course with an exception of South Africa and Kenya, uh, we are lacking in the personnel or such personnel that need to help manage, maintain, and repair health equipment and machinery. But also, we need to have graduates that are competent in managing modern biomedical equipment, as we have seen that the government in the recent past has been buying quite sophisticated medical equipment. Health Deputy Minister Dr. Chitalo Chilufia maintained that diagnostic services play an important role in the provision of health services. He says that's why government has invested in biomedical equipment. A case in point is the recent procurement of equipment that will be distributed to all the specialist hospitals to support renal dialysis. Equipment that has been procured support both diagnostic and therapeutic services in cardiology and UTH, the CAT lab, mm -hmm. the CT scans that have been procured and distributed to the various specialist hospitals. One major setback has been the inadequate capacity to provide preventive maintenance of this equipment mm -hmm. and also to take corrective measures when this equipment breaks down. For this reason, in the various hospitals across the country, you find equipment bought at colossal cost, marooned, mm. and not being utilized. Mm. As we load the efforts of our cooperating partners in supporting uh, human resource development, I must emphasize that we must inculcate a sense of sustainability in this program by, in, by including in our budgets, in our plans, training and further investment in the infrastructure for biomedical engineering. So that at the time that this support will phase out, we'll be able to carry on with the program. The Minister of Education, we want to thank you for partnering with the Minister of Health and ensuring that we develop human resource to support the provision of quality health services for the people of this country. Second year student Natasha Kampengele plays to put the training to good use. We as students are so happy and excited to be a part of this great development in our nation. Our appeal to the Ministry of Health is to adequately prepare for us by offering workshops that are well equipped with all the necessary equipment to enable us to contribute positively to the healthcare delivery for the benefit of our great nation. Meanwhile, Chris Moore, the biomedical engineering specialist, is happy to be part of the program. He's also undertaking training of trainers courses for the Zambian lecturers. NOTAC has now allocated six uh, trainers, or is in the process to do this, to, to become a biomedical trainer. The, the trainers are already training at NOTAC, uh, qualified, but now will do biomedical. So that uh, when I leave, maybe unfortunately <laughs> at some point, uh, that they can take over and it's, it's a real sustaining activity because otherwise it's not very good. Zambia, like many low to middle income countries, faces many challenges in ensuring that hospitals and health centers have functional medical equipment. Therefore, the opening of the Biomedical Engineering Workshop at NOTEC is a step that will see hospital equipment being managed and maintained to enhance quality health services. Sherine Masupelo, ZNBC Focus, in Indola. Thank you, Sherine, and that's